What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life. So today, I didn't get to wake up as early as I wanted to. Well, I woke up extremely early, uh, but I didn't get to leave and go do what I wanted to go do, which was spirit uh, as early as I wanted to. Uh, my wife wanted to go with me, so we had to get the kids all ready and everyone get ready. So we went to spirit. Uh, it wasn't a huge success, I should say, but it was pretty good. Um, I did miss out on a few props that I really wanted, but you're going to have that. Uh, I did get some really cool stuff, and I'm going to show you, and I'm probably going to leave and go to another one and see what I can get there. But I came home. I've been testing them out. One's totally kaput, and the other one actually works, and I am extremely, <laughs> extremely excited that this guy or girl works. Uh, it was one of the most, more expensive ones, but I got it for 50 bucks because it was damaged. Um, I plugged it in and I'm not sure what's damaged, but the other one is, it's like started smoking and started stinking. I don't know what's going on. The wiring is definitely messed up in it. Uh, but I did get some other cool stuff. I did get one brand new one in the box and, uh, I will show you what we got. So I got, I got this cut off leg for like seven bucks. This guy was $24. He's got like an arrow in his head. Uh, I got this undead groundbreaker, which he looks like this in the yard. And then I got one of the Morris props, the hanging looming phantom. I totally walked right by this when I first walked in and walked back. I uh, did another walk around and I saw this laying up against one of the poles in the building and uh, This was like originally 180. I got it for 90 But uh, he looks really sweet. He was one of the ones I've seen in some people's videos And I was like man if only I could find that and here we go found it scary pulsating LED eyes and flickering lantern So that alone is pretty cool three different sound recordings uh, I'm not sure what all he does he is motion activated and uh, the hanging loop form is included. Looks like he got volume control, a step pad, or four AA batteries. Uh, it says he's right around six foot. I don't know, he looks pretty sweet. But here's the actual broken props I got. You got Miserable Marie. And I'll tell you right now, she is pretty miserable. And then, Demonic Dahlia. And she works. They said she was broken and she was $100 in the store. And since it's half off, they would give you half of that. So I paid $49.99 for her. And uh, she works. I plugged her in, hooked all the wiring up. I don't know if a wire came loose in the store or what, but she works fine. I told you to stay away. Miserable Marie, however, is, uh, yeah, like I said, she's like smoking. I uh, plugged everything in and, uh, I don't know. She's definitely something ain't right. So I'm going to have to mess around with that a little bit more and try and see if I can get her to work. But I don't know. The smell that's coming out of this thing is not good. So I'm going to mess around with her. See if I can get her to work. If not, she's still going to be a really cool static once I fix her. i um, get her standing upright. Well, yeah, they gave me both the boxes for them. 
and I just carried these out just the way they were and the dude right in front of me got the Hauntress and I was extremely mad because I really wanted a Hauntress so this is what we got I'm pretty excited with that haul I spent uh, 264 dollars and keep in mind she was two hundred dollars by herself and I believe she was 160 something or something like that and I paid $42 for her and I paid $49.99 for her paid 90 for the looming phantom uh, what did I pay for this guy what is he he was about 17 bucks not bad he was 25 and this was like seven bucks yeah $14.99 so it was like eight dollars but it was the last leg they had the last hanging zombie they had they had one more of these this was the last one and obviously these were the last because these were the last two standing props but I walked up to the lady at the cash register and I said now is it the price that's on that paper or is it half of that and she goes well they're damaged so it's half of whatever that paper says and I said awesome I'll take them both then and she's like alright she goes well she'll be 50 and she'll be 42 and I said okay yeah, she's like, do you want us to tear them down and put them in the box? I was like, nope, just leave them the way they are. I'll just load them in the car. So luckily, we took the wife's car, and if I go to this other one, I'm going to have to have them tear them down and uh, put them in the box for me because uh, I'm going to have my truck. So, I mean, I guess I could have strapped, or strapped them down in the bed, but, you know, these things are so cheap that... I probably would have lost miserable Marie's head down the highway or something because it's just like two metal stakes that sit in there and it's ridiculous. It's, all these are cheaply made and they charge you an arm and a leg. So it is literally snowing right now. November 1st in Ohio and this is stupid I guess it's that time it's gonna happen but god I hate winter I'm not ready for it but I am super glad I tore down all of my Halloween stuff because I told you the snow was coming well now I'm on my usual Sunday routine I'm gonna go take my trash I uh, was going to go hit another spirit and go visit with my dad and then my oil light came on oh I guess it wouldn't be oil light came on but <laughs> oil light never came on but it said low oil pressure shut you know shut off engine I was like whoa what's going on uh, jumped out checked my oil and uh, basically we didn't have much oil so I just had to go do like a emergency oil change and uh, so far so good I don't know what that was all about I mean I know it was low on oil it said it only had like 7% left and I let that go a little too long but so far we still have oil pressure this is the uh, maiden voyage I didn't make it but maybe six feet the last time and it was like shut the engine off uh, that is to protect from bending rods or any serious damage so I left it where it's set and I tried uh, changing the oil on the ground and it was so windy and it started raining and then it started snowing I was absolutely covered in oil because the wind was blowing it everywhere I didn't want to start it to kind of nose it into the garage because I didn't you know I don't want to ruin my truck that would have been ideal was to n at least nose it into the garage to uh, avoid some of the wind but I uh, didn't get that lucky but uh, it seems to be doing okay so I didn't get to go to another spirit like I had planned 
was gonna go to the one about 15 20 minutes away from me uh, I didn't get to do that so it's unfortunate so that's probably going to conclude my spirit shopping for the year just that one store but we did get some good stuff you know demonic dahlia uh, miserable Marie and the looming phantom I'm pretty excited about those uh, I'm sure by now the other one it's you know late in the afternoon now late evening that uh, everything is gone since you know everything's dirt cheap affordable so I missed out I might stop maybe tomorrow after work or something and see if I can uh, snag anything else but doubt it but yeah we will see what else we get into later stick around so I have been putting a bunch of stuff away I got all of my tombstones that were on the ground I got those put away I got some more props put away I got some totes put up I got a bunch of stuff in totes I got most of this mess cleaned up we've been working I got all my lights together, boxed up, ready to be put away. I need to find another box for all these heads. So I gotta find something for that. But I got everything stacked up top there. Here we go. Got all the, there we go, all the fencing and then just the whole row of props. Um, and then I still got those two to tear apart and put in the box and then those two scarecrows I gotta get those guys done uh, I got all my butcher shop stuff right there but man am I absolutely 110% glad I tore all this stuff down on Halloween or yeah on Halloween day <laughs> because holy crap is it windy i would have lost probably every tombstone i would have all my corn would have been all over the place it would have been an absolute disaster it's been snowing it's super cold and it's been off and on raining and snowing and it's 32 degrees and uh i mean it's it's cold it is free, literally freezing cold. And I'm just glad I got all this stuff put put away, torn down. Because I went outside and I forgot an extension cord and uh, a wooden box out front. Uh, this stuff here. I forgot the extension cord in this wooden box. And I went out there to grab that extension cord and it literally had ice on it. And I was like, oh my god, like... Thank the Lord I tore all this stuff down and I don't have to deal with that. So I feel for some of the people that still have all their stuff out and they're dealing with this right now. Because this wind is pretty bad. I don't know what the wind speed is but I didn't have to deal with anything like this. Not this bad. Even with the most of the corn. The highest I dealt with was 20 miles an hour. And uh this is way more than that i'll tell you that but we got my truck running again and we got some props cleaned up and starting to get stuff put away here and i gotta make some more room in the rafters to put the rest of this stuff uh it's just a uh big mess but i was able to buy a total of six props new for this year Plus I added three today, three animatronics I should say, added three more to that whole list. So I got a total of nine for this year, which is pretty awesome. Great start for next year. And uh, yeah, next year is going to be wicked awesome. Uh, I'm going to try and snag as many good deals as I can throughout the year, but I'm going to keep chipping away at 
getting some of this uh, stuff torn down. Well, not torn down, but put away, boxed up. Uh, tear what I need to tear down to put it away. Uh, probably won't work too much longer tonight. I'm probably honestly going to go in soon. And uh, this whole time change has got me messed up. Um, so yeah, like, share, subscribe. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty more Halloween videos to come. Even though Halloween is over, I'm still going to be building stuff. And I'm still going to be buying stuff. And, uh, and it's probably going to take me a while to clean some of this stuff up. So... Who knows, you might see me get some more deals at Spirit, even though tomorrow is Spirit's last day on the 2nd. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but there might be some more. I didn't record anything at Spirit today, uh, just because the family was with me, so I didn't feel like it. We were just making mad dashes, trying to get as much stuff as we could, get the good stuff, and get the heck out of Dodge. So. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments down below of what you think of the new props that I got. And uh, also, let me know if you got anything at the 50% off sale. Any awesome props. And I will catch you on that next video. Thanks for watching.